Hello, I'm Murray Newlands. Welcome to another episode of Performance Marketing Insider TV. Today, I'm speaking with Rodney, who is one of the founders of M.M. They are a demand side platform. They help app developers get more installs. Rodney, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, thank you, Murray. So tell me more about what exactly you guys do. So as you described, M.M is the demand side platform and we spe specifically focus on mobile. So advertisers come to us and they're looking to drive typically downloads of their mobile apps um, across the web. And so we do this by connecting all of our uh, pipes to various mobile platforms, whether it's exchanges, whether it's mediation layers, whether it's just direct API integration, and we drive those downloads on a performance basis, typically on a cost per install. And are these incentivized or non-incentivized? All of what we do is non-incentivized uh, by default. Occasionally, advertisers do ask us to do incentivized, and we'll manage it, but we don't have pipes directly with any incentivized channels. We, we just uh, offer the management piece of that. What types of campaigns are doing uh, well, and, uh, and where do you see the market going in 2013? Uh, well, right now, like everything you see pretty much in the rankings of the top grossing or the top uh, apps in the store is uh, very heavily leaning towards gaming. So we see a lot of demand for games. There's very verticals in that. Some are more casual. Some are kind of uh, gambling types like uh, poker or blackjack and then bingo. Uh, some are also male-oriented versus female-oriented. Uh, we do run other campaigns uh, for clients that are in dating and travel, uh, not to the same level, but they are definitely some of the growing trends. And I would say in 2013, we're seeing a, a, an increased demand in things like security. So we work with people on Android that are offering security-based applications. Uh, we also see a stronger bent towards not just gaming, but more entertainment. So there's music. We've done campaigns with things like Spotify or Flickster. Uh, so we think that it's going to branch out into a little bit more of entertainment to start. And then there will be little niche, I think, bigger tests for things along the lines of finance and travel uh, to try to grow that space out. What other changes are you seeing in the marketplace? Is it moving more towards Android from iPhone? Um, what about the new Windows phone? Do you see uh, do you see that things like that affecting the marketplace? Uh, yeah, so we see we you know about this time last year, I'd say that it was very very heavy iOS. Uh, this year, right now, we're seeing a lot of adoption of Android, and we've seen a consistent pickup there. So we're expecting that Android will just continue to get bigger and bigger. Uh, in terms of Windows Phone, uh, we don't see a lot of demand for it, but we see that people are uh, trying to prepare for it. So we're getting more inquiries about it. We've actually started receiving some sort of uh, bid requests in our exchange on Windows Phone. And so we expect that it's going to be something that will pick up uh, probably a little bit slower than what we saw with Android and iOS, which is likely to be expected. But uh, we're not ignoring it just for the fact that Microsoft has basically made a play that everything will be kind of Windows Phone-ish or like with their Surface being somewhat of a tablet slash uh, desktop device, if you want to say. Uh, so those are some of the things that we're keeping an eye out on. And it's just really early to say, but um, there is increased interest there. And are, are developers really making money with these games? Are they able to turn around these installs into actually re actual revenue? And how hard is that? Um, that's a good question. You know, so we, being the performance-based type of uh, company, where advertisers typically work with us, and why they like working with us is that they pay strictly for the download. Um, and so some people are bidding a dollar, and some people are bidding three dollars, or some people are bidding um, even more aggressively than that in certain cases. And oftentimes that's on a sustained basis. So those that have high bids at a sustained basis, uh, I would expect that they are making uh, more revenue than they're paying us. Otherwise, um, we wouldn't be able to have been working with them for a sustained amount of peri period of time. Those that are bidding a little bit lower, I would say that they're just kind of more in the experimental phase. They're trying to figure it out. Um, but the difficulty, I think, lies in 
almost a catch-22 of where you're trying to um, pay for quality users but also get organic. So it's not just about the advertising you do but about your viral mechanisms uh, that kind of help boost you up into the rankings so that you get users that hopefully will monetize um, in a uh, cheaper fashion rather than just having to purchase them all. Uh, but it's kind of a it's kind of a mixed bag. Some of our clients have been consistent for year and years, you know, two years or so, and others have come and gone. So it's a uh, it's tough out there for I think a lot of app developers. But once you kind of get a hit, I think they just kind of put a lot of their efforts right behind uh, the ones that are most successful. Now there are a lot of app install companies. What makes you different? Uh, I'd say the biggest thing that makes us different is that we are one of the only ones that can drive uh, high volumes all on a cost per install basis that are non-incentivized. Uh, so some of the competitors out there are, are selling kind of a blended model where you don't really know how much is incentivized versus non-incentivized. There's others out there that are, are selling on a quote-unquote cost per install, but they have a kind of a management fee towards it. Uh, so you're not just paying for your installs, you're also paying for whatever kind of effort that goes on to it. And then there's others that are out there that are trying to hit a, I guess you'd say, a, a target CPI. So there's, it might start off at you know, $5 and you have a target of 3 and they get it to like 333 But for us, whatever you set it to, uh, that's what you get, that's what you pay. And we do it at really high volume. So, I mean, we... Uh, have some of our advertisers that are driving, you know, thousands of installs a day at that CPI, and I think that's what makes us a valuable partner to a lot of these ap application developers because we're able to do what not a lot of people are, and that give that guaranteed CPI um, and have access to scale, and so that's why we claim to be the largest mobile DSP out there. If people want to find out more about this and work with you, what's your email address, please? Uh, my email is Rodney R O D N E Y at mdotm.com. So it's rodney at m.m.com. Rodney, thank you very much. All right, thank you. I'm Murray Newlands. You're watching Performance Marketing Insider TV. I'll see you next time.